Hey, David Hughes, Theater Advice. Uh, we're here in our Frisco showroom. I want to talk about one of my favorite uh, speaker brands in the world. I've sold them for 22 years, uh, ever since I started in this industry, really. Um, I used to sell, if I didn't say the name, it's Sonus Faber. Um, if I didn't, uh, I used to sell these speakers called the Concertos and the Concertinos. They were two bookshelf speakers that they had. And man, they were just sexy. They had leather on top. They were um, handmade in Italy. They were heavy. They made with, you know, real hardwood. Um, B and K amplifier back in the day. Uh, I don't think they're in business anymore, but it was such a such a beautiful setup, um, and we sold it all the time. And people would just hear it. I used to play Eric Clapton, and people would just be like, "Yep, send it to my house." It was the easiest thing I ever sold was concertos and concertinos and and, and a nice amp. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing and talking about their uh, just this one line in their series. I'll talk about every line separately because they all deserve a separate conversation. This is my the value play, which is why it's in my showroom with with Sonus Faber. They go uh, very high end into their <clears throat> the speaker called the Sonus Faber. I believe it's north of two hundred three hundred thousand dollars. <throat> they have a speaker called the Aida or the Ada, um, and it is, in my opinion, the sexiest, most beautiful speaker ever made. I'll have him pop it up really quick just so you can see it because if you haven't seen this speaker. I'm making my guy work in his editing computer. Um, but if you haven't seen that speaker, I mean, unbelievably spectacular looking speaker. I think that guy's like 125,000 a pair, probably the most worth it speaker that's like in that crazy echelon, in my opinion. Um, really, really good stuff. Other than Focal, I love them too, obviously. Um, but Sonus Faber's a different sound. So Sonus Faber's gonna be, you know, if as long as you throw enough power at it, they are four ohm, but as long as you throw enough power at it, um, it is going to just absolutely floor you. I mean, every single thing about it feels exactly how hard it is to make, like you feel how hard it is to make this speaker when you listen to it. It's so beautiful. Um, silk dome tweeters, so very detailed, very fast, very light material. A um, little bit more laid back than your, than your metals, your beryliums, that kind of thing but really, really just an, a beautiful sounding speaker. I've got to talk about how they look because I'm going to be honest with you, some people buy them just because of how they look, put them in their living room and don't turn them on that much. Um, they have this fluted design. <clears throat> Almost all of their speakers have some sort of flute to them. It's because Sonus Faber is the only company that I sell or have heard that they literally say, we make musical instruments. They do not say we make speakers. We're not a speaker company. They make musical instruments. They just believe that this is a passive version of a guitar. I mean, a guitar is a passive thing unless it's plugged in, of course. But, you know, let's go with a violin or something like that, a non-pyroed violin. It is, it is a musical instrument. It's got a, it's got a cabinet. It's got, you know, a passive way to make sound. Once amplified or once sent sound to it, um, you know, it makes sound. So they're like, we make musical instruments. These are musical instruments that play every instrument, not speakers. So... Um, just their whole thought process of how they build something um, is completely different than everyone else. Uh, you, you see it all handmade in Italy. Uh, this is their Wenge. They have another wood that's lighter, which is their walnut. They've got black, which I love, but it's not as special looking as the wood grain speakers because it has these spires throughout the side of it. We'll do some B-roll of this guy for sure because it's just too beautiful to not just take in every detail um, in it. It's got, uh, the way that it ports is it ports out of the back of these beautiful blades and fins out of the back. Um, Four-way, uh, four so you can buy amp, you can buy wire, whatever you want to do. Uh, full four-way, five-way binding post in the back. Um, or four five-way binding posts. Like, sounds like a wrap. Um, uh, the feet are super, super uh, good looking and obviously very, very functional. You can just, you know, kind of lighten this guy up here. Uh, rock it back, make it, you know, make it, uh, make it taller, rake it back a little bit. What you see in the grill, these are the only grills that are on any speaker in my entire, in my entire showroom. And the reason for that is, uh, it's actually real piano strings. So they use this piano string for, for beauty, but also, um, but also, you know, they actually believe that it plays into the sound a little bit and the resonant frequencies. It's kind of funny. Um, I don't know how much truth to that, but because it's Sonus Faber, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, when you take this off, you'll see them all droop. I mean, it's just, it just doesn't get any more beautiful than that from a, from a, uh, 
from a speaker grill standpoint, for sure. Um, this tweeter is a very special design. It's got this waveguide around it that's just uh, something that they invented. They make all their own materials, a lot of light things, like this is a paper mid-range. Um, you know, so you're getting into older materials that they just believe are, you know, some of the better materials. A lot of the other old school speakers still using paper as well. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, paper composite type thing. But they make their own drivers. Obviously, they make their own cabinets because they're handmade in Italy. Um, you know, just absolutely some of the most beautiful speakers in the world. Definitely the most beautiful speakers in this building. Um, so that's the Olympic Nova. These guys are 15000 a pair. I think they fit a very strong price point. Throwing a, throwing a $5,000 amplifier at them or a nice integrated, something super beefy. Um, you know, you really do need some power. I've got these on, a, on like 200 watts right now. Um, Cambridge Audio, which I absolutely love. Um, and then I've got, uh, I've got them also... Um, What's over here now? Oh, Musical Fidelity. So I've got a Musical Fidelity piece over here that I love, 200 watts. But I moved them over here to the Big Mac. Um, that's 350 watts by two. Uh, they're MA12000, that's called. And it, I mean, it changed the whole sound of them. So, you know, moving them around different amplifiers, especially their own amplifier uh, because they're in business with Mac. Um, they work really, really well together, Mac and Sons Faber. So very, very special pairing. Should be bought together if you can. Um, but they sound good on everything, but they, they like power. So, you know, you throw power at them and they just start to wake up. I mean, you hear them do things that other speakers cannot do. They're a very, very pleasing speaker to listen to. Um, not fatiguing, unbelievable, best build in the business, uh, most beautiful speakers in the world. Um, so I really love them. I'll, I'll always carry them in our brick and mortar stores. We won't be selling them on the internet or anything like that. They, they don't even deserve that. They deserve to be set up uh you know moved around imaged properly all that stuff and um just an absolutely gorgeous speaker so if you're in the market uh anything in this olympica nova line um, they go down to bookshelves and then they have uh, the three the five and i think the seven actually and they're they're much larger they have a matching center channel that damn near looks like you take this speaker and put it on its side and it's still fluted and it sits in this rocker rocker stand so you can kind of slide it back and forth a little bit i mean it's big it's three and a half feet wide probably if i had to guess um just an absolute beast of a center channel and i love big center channels i think it's awesome i love big center channels so um you know i love everything in their line all from the bottom to the top we'll, we'll talk about their uh lumina series their sonetto series we're going to do that all separate um at different times and um but Olympic Genova, this is the Olympic Genova three to give you a reference, six and a half drivers. Um, but great speaker. We'll do some, we'll do some B-roll of it and uh, just get some close-ups and things like that of how beautiful it is. Uh, maybe throw some music behind it to make it uh, more interesting for you. And um, that's it. I don't need to review this much because I just, I mean, if you're in the market, you should absolutely put this in your mix. <laughs> so give it a listen. Find someone that has them and come out. And uh, thanks for listening. Thanks. you for listening to whatever I was just rambling about and of course if you are in the Dallas area or surrounding areas and you can get here uh, visit our showrooms in Frisco or South Lake location and now we can help you anywhere uh, from anywhere in the country through the world's first mom and pop shop on the internet uh, called fcavsystems.com we are very excited about this project uh, we're happy to bring what theater advice does here in Texas to everyone thanks for watching